The government is seeking a protective order against Donald Trump to prevent him from sharing things found in Discovery and also to protect witnesses against Donald Trump directing his followers towards them and attempting to do witness intimidation. This comes following Donald Trump putting out a post on True Social saying, essentially, if you come after me, I'm coming after you. Now, his spokesman then decided to say it's not about anyone in the case. He's going after the rhinos and things like that. That's what he meant. Since then, Donald Trump has made a post going after Mike Pence. I believe it was in relation to January 6th. He's also made a post going after the DOJ, and he's made a post directly insulting the judge. And he tried to have it delayed that they wouldn't have to respond so quick, and the judge told him no, probably partly because his lawyer keeps appearing on TV showing they have plenty of time to respond to a five-page paper. Well, I'm not going to go through the full response, but I do want to show you my favorite part. In this, while they're trying to say it's overreach to have a protective order, this is part of their reasoning. President Biden has likewise capitalized on the indictment, posting a thinly veiled reference to his administration's prosecution of President Trump just hours before arraignment. It is literally the dark Brandon mug tweet that I showed previously. Dark Brandon is not in relation to the indictment. <laughs> That's literally a thing because Republicans were freaking out when he gave a speech outside of the White House and they selectively viewed it so it had a red background to try to make it look scary. That's what that's from. Literally, literally, Trump's defense at this point seems to be so bad that they felt the need to include Joe Biden trolling Republicans in general as a reason he shouldn't have a protective order to prevent him from sharing evidence or harassing witnesses. I can't imagine, I can't imagine the rest of the document is good. I don't have the time to dig through all this and I will post it, but if you go through, I've, I've tried, I've went through it, and it there's just so much here that honestly, someone else that knows more specifics is gonna have to go through it. I just think he's gonna get the protective order, and I think he's proven that he should get it already. That's my opinion on it. I mean, you've seen his truths, you've seen how he goes after people. A protective order shouldn't be a problem. If he's saying it's not needed, then there shouldn't be an issue with him not violating it for this case.